was still in his Lord. Now Christ is in you. Deuteronomy chapter 28. It's going to help yes. half of you. Mike, yes. thanks for not waiting so much, but let me know if you could increase the weight. I will not use you as an example. <laughs> now, Pastor Lay, listen to this. You need to hear this. Deuteronomy chapter 28. Didn't clear. Listen to this real quick. I know you got to go. Mike. Deuteronomy 28 talks about the blessings and the curse. That's right. Yeah. Does the curse apply to you? No. 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 But why do preachers use it? Yeah. They scare the hell out of you. Yes. <laughs> don't they come back right after that and say, if you don't, if you obey God, these blessings will follow them that obey. Yeah. And if you don't obey God, these curses will follow them that disobey. Yeah. But it can't be true if what I just preached is true. You can't have them both. Because verse 1 and verse 2 says, If you hearken diligently unto all the commandments with the Lord thy God command thee, then you get these blessings. That's right. So we can't be under conditional blessings and really be saved. It is so good. That's why they're all looking at me like, I'm telling you, you're not, you're not, you're not, you're not, you're not The preachers always tell me, if I don't obey, I'm not blessed. Then you've been duped. Yes. Yes. You're blessed. Yes. And you can't be cursed. Yes. 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 See, what happened? Ripped off. <laughs> what happens is preachers are trying to get to a place. Yes. Jesus brought you to a place. Yes. I'm going to read it and you're going to look at it and you're going to see this right. and you're going to say to yourself I, I'm listen, I'm blessed Amen. where is it? where's Deuteronomy? Where it's another, it's another I, I hope I have it she said it's after numbers I don't know who it's at I don't know who it's at I got to open up my Bible I think this is not on radio on television Deuteronomy. That's in the New Testament? No. <laughs> I'm going to make a New Testament today. I know that's right. Pastor Lena, watch how I put this. That's how God showed this to me the other day. Thank God for vacation. My God. Because this was bothering me for years, but I never preached it. Because we always want to use Deuteronomy 28 to suit people up. Yes. Yes. And to and put them in bondage too. Because look what it says in the beginning. It said, And it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. No, Momo. See, that was what Moses told them. Okay. We don't observe those commandments to get this blessing. We get these blessings because Jesus fulfilled all commandments. I'm going to take it slow. We're going to out of time. See, what happens is we're not under conditional blessings. We're not. Jesus said, who is he that loves me? But he that keeps my commandments. And what is my commandments? Love God and love your neighbor as yourself. Amen. Come on, I got to do it. When you see when that religious devil just drop it. Come on. Let that religious devil go. See, because you're so used to conditional blessings. Mommy, if I do my homework, can I eat dinner? Right? Don't some of you aren't, aren't some of you don't wait, don't wait. Aren't some of you bad parents? Yes. Mm. You put conditions on how you want to treat your kids? Mm. If you do what's right, I'll do what's right. Mm. You devil. Mm. You do what's right because they are your kids. Yes. Yes. Amen. 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 That is real good. Yes. 
You got your, your children all manipulated. If I do right, mommy will be nice to me. Why? Mommy a devil. If mommy can't just be right. And what happens then? You gotta bribe the child the rest of their life. Mommy, you give me a bike. If I do this, you give me a car. If I do this, come on. You do what's right for your children that grow up right. Amen. So, Preacher Joe, what is the end of your message? We're going to talk about how the blessing works. Amen. Thanks, Mike. You got Mike is up now. That, that ride helped Mike. <laughs> He's getting bound up in that seat. Not really. You thought you saw it. Right? <laughs> I'm on a roll. I'm on a roll. See, because you don't know what it's like to be set free. Because we always want to find somebody else. Yes. You know, you get married and, and your wife said, yeah, if you don't get paid, you, you don't get anything. Yes. Demo! I'm still your husband, Demo! Husband come in the house, house ain't clean, I ain't buying nothing. Yeah. Devil Lord! <laughs> Why do you think marriage has failed? Nobody wants God. Yeah. Everybody wants to be God. Yeah. 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 Amen. Who they must not be married yet. Yeah. All the married people let their hands down. They say, I'm not having my wife jack me up now. <laughs> Look at my wife. My wife acting like this. <laughs> And she got her own car, and I'm going the other way. I'll be praying for about two hours, and she'll be fine. Honey, you coming home? <laughs> now watch this. Now see, now since we say I'm blessed, I'm and I can't be cursed. Yeah, now when you read these blessings, you'll realize I don't have to worry about a condition. Yes, it doesn't feel good. Come on. Come on. Come on. How many people, not, how many people in here was not saved? And I want to talk straight. You spent a lot of money to have sex before you got saved. Right. Right. To go to hell. Right. Right. You bought new clothes. You took them to the movie. Right. You fed them all for something that was legal and free for married people. Nobody wants to help me. Nobody wants to help me. Nobody wants to help me. All that feel right like he don't want to help me either. Yeah, your wife left. That's why you clap with the two of So the reason why I'm making this point is because you really can't enjoy Christianity when a preacher puts a conditional blessing on it. Come on, come on, Paul. You can't. You sit there and these preachers tell you all God gonna do for you and, and you can't even hope. Because you think at the end he's gonna ask for an offering for it. Come on, come on. Y'all sit there and act like it ain't true. Every offering works. You follow what I'm saying? No matter what offering they give you, it does work. But don't it just kill it when you don't have the hundred dollars? And they put you in a law that you can't fulfill. Right. Come on now. Yeah. You know you only got thirteen dollars. You gotta get to work. Come on down. God's gonna bless you, man. Ha! I see a hundred dollars. Ha! Yes. And you only got thirteen dollars. Your heart is broke because of all the faith you were releasing about the whole message. God's tired of that. I told you it's going to be the best mess you ever hear. So the next time you're in the service and a preacher is preaching, you take the blessing. You say, I ain't got to buy nothing. If I don't earn enough, I ain't going to sweat it. Ha ha! Yeah. And we're going to take a $75 offer today. <laughs> Come on, somebody. You got to understand something. We're not into conditional blessings. Either I'm blessed or I'm cursed. 